Good morning, I hope that you're all doing well and getting ready for a Shabbos. Shabbos, we're told, blesses the entire week that follows. This Shabbos is Shabbos Mevorchim, which means that it blesses the whole month that follows. We're coming into the month of Tammuz. So may Hashem use this Shabbos as a catalyst to give us a lot more bracha than what we have had up until now. May this be the turning point of the year where things start to pick up and start to flow and we see only goodness in a revealed manner. This Shabbos we read the story of the spies, which is not one of the finest moments of Jewish history. The Jews who had seen miracle after miracle, Hashem had taken them out of Egypt, provided them with food in the desert, split the sea, uh, got, uh, vanquished the nation of Amalek, given them the Torah, and now promised them that they were going into the promised land, and that was not good enough for them, believe it or not. And the people said, well, we need to know that this land is actually good. I mean, by now you should trust Hashem after everything that He's done for you. That's human nature. In spite of how good things might be, somehow we always find a way to say, well, what if? What if something goes wrong? And so I suppose that's the first lesson of this parasha is focus on the good things that Hashem does in your life and you won't suffer the anxiety of the what ifs to the same extent. There's another lesson which is very important and very empowering actually. You see, the idea of sending spies was not instructed by God and it was not recommended by Moshe. It was a groundswell movement by the people. We want a delegation to go check the land, come back and tell us what it's like. And Moshe is wary about it and he asks Hashem's opinion and Hashem says, I'm not telling you what to do, which of course is a warning label in itself. And Moshe is wary enough that he blesses Joshua and says, I hope that you don't get sucked into any kind of negative behavior. So why did he do it? Why did he send spies if he appreciated that there was a high risk that this mission could have gone pear-shaped as it did? Well, here's the lesson, and it's an empowering lesson. It's something we should reflect on on a regular basis. If the purpose of Judaism was perfection, then we have failed miserably. And then Hashem should have just made the angels and stopped at that. Very often when you look at the expectations of Judaism, you think, oh, it is all about being perfect. And life in general, you often feel it's about being perfect. Giving the perfect message to my children in a time of crisis. Keeping my head even when the chips are down. Managing my finances when I'm on a shoestring budget because of circumstances outside of my control. So we are hard on ourselves and we expect ourselves to be perfect. And Hashem doesn't. Hashem expects us to put in our own effort. It's more valuable to Hashem and of course his representative Moshe is the one who conveys it to us. It's more valuable that we should try and we should think and we should explore and we should experience trial and error. It's more important to have that than that we just plot along in a perfect way because we're being led by the nose by God and inspiration. In other words, the good times in life when Hashem is taking us by the hand are not the times in life that give us the opportunity to be our best. The times in life when we are left to our own devices because there are challenges around, and yes, some people are going to get this wrong and some people are going to collapse. Hopefully we won't be those people. Hopefully we'll be the people who, like Joshua and Kalev in this week's parasha, who stood up and focused and remembered that in spite of everything that the world tells you, if Hashem promises goodness, there will be goodness. And if Hashem tells you walk this path, you must walk that path because that's how you'll get to that goodness. Hopefully we'll be those people because it's far more meaningful when you arrive at that place through your own struggle than when you arrive at that place because somebody coached and led you without any real input of your own. That's the message of this parasha. It is worth the high risk of leaving people the opportunity to think for themselves, to work for themselves, than just to do everything on their behalf. That means Hashem trusts us, He believes in us, He feels that we have or that He has given us the wherewithal to be able to succeed under all circumstances. Please God we succeed. Good Shabbos. Please God it should be a good month. Stay safe and stay sane.